Please subscribe. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to the channel. My name is Dave Natch. I speak stocks. Today is Fire Friday, August 26. In today's video, I have one play for you and also one to put in stock. But before I go into the plays, let me delve into yesterday's recap of the overall markets. The Dow rise of 0.98% yesterday at 33,291, the Dow. The NASDAQ, they spiked 1.67% yesterday, settling at 12,639, the NAS. Tesla closed down 0.35%. The company made a stock split 341 yesterday. The stock is trading at $296, okay? Tesla. Apple spiked one and a half percent yesterday to settle at one hundred and seventy dollars and three pennies. Apple. Let's jump right into it. Dave's play today is a SP play. In and out, grab and go, one and move. AVCT. AVCT is spiking forty six percent thus far in the pre markets, sitting at nineteen cents at the recording of this video. The higher day thus far in the pre is twenty one cents. Twenty one cents. If this one retracts below 16 cents, this might be a no-go today, okay? This one has room to 23 cents. The company came out with news. There are going to be some board reshuffling. Go ahead and read up the news. And the company might be putting themselves up for sale. Go ahead and read up the news on uh, AVCT. This one is in the uh, Infotech Services Space headquarters out of Georgia. Infotech Services Sector, okay? Let's get the tires. They were a market cap of 20 million. They have 93 million in the float. 21% of the float are held by insiders, okay? 17% of the float are shorts. Their revenue is 19 million. This is AVCT. Their revenue per share is 0 0.27. They have 4 million in gross profit, 13 million in cash, 9 million in debt. This is AVCT. Their current ratio is sitting at 1.16. This one has spikeability. For example, on December 10th, the stock went from $1.26 all the way to $3.13. 126 to 313 on a volume of 293 million AV CT. Please put on stock today. FHS. This one is a medium term hold. The stock is up 24% at 95 cents. The higher day thus far in the pre markets, $1.20. This one went as a high as I, this one went as high as $1.20 in the pre markets. They have 4 million in the float. They were a market cap of 21 million. This is FHS, okay? There's no news out. We're just riding price action. This one has room to the upside. I believe they made their new 52-week. Uh, disregard that. Uh, AVCT made a new 52-week low yesterday, okay? Let me continue with FHS. Their profit margin is a positive 16%. Their operating margin is 20%, positive 20% operating margin. Their ROA, return on asset, is a positive 7%. Their ROE, return on equity, is a positive 96.5%. Let me repeat that. Their return on equity is a positive 96.5%, okay? They have 411 million in revenues. Their revenue per share is... <laughs> 14.17 revenue per share 14.17 okay their quarterly revenue growth is up 14 percent their gross profit get this 127 million 127 million in gross profit for fhs okay their ebitda earnings before interest taxes depreciation and amortization is 96 million 96 million their ebitda their quarterly earnings growth is up 242%. This company has some decent numbers. Quarterly earnings growth is up 242%, okay? FHS. Total cash in hand, 120 million. Their total debt is 
132 million. Their current ratio, however, is sitting a little below par, 0 0.93, 0 0.93, their current ratio. That's all I have for you, ladies and gentlemen. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter, at WT for my stock alerts. In the meantime, in between time, always protect your neck. Always set a stop loss. Do not invest more than you're willing to lose. And whenever you see some profits, take some profits because now you see them, now you don't. Dave Natch, I'm out. Boom, boom, make your next trade your best trade. Enjoy your weekend. Do remember, if you wish to open a trading account, check out my Weibo link below. You will get some free stocks. Minimum deposit required is just one penny, one penny only. Also, pre-market hours trading starts at 4 a.m. sharp. 4 a.m. sharp with Webull. Webull only the way to go. Pre-market hours trading is very risky. It's not for the risk averse. Whopping 174% at 80 cents. This is why I have this channel. Supernova moves like these. Please give me a thumbs up on the video. Please subscribe to the channel if this kind of content is for you. Let's delve in. OCGN opened at 47 cents. The stock spiked as high as 83 cents and as low as 40 cents. The low of the day, 40 cents. The volume on the day, a whopping, an eye popping, 734 million. Let that sink in. Compare and contrast that to their average volume of 19 million. Okay, watch for continuation today. A matter of fact, the stock is up about 70, 70% in the pre. Put this one on your stock list for continuation. It might be overextended at this juncture. Be careful here. I sold 55% of my holdings, okay? OCGN, the stock to watch. Another stock I want you to watch is... Jagex, J-A-G-X. Matter of fact, that's Dave's play today. J-A-G-X is up 70% in the pre at 67 cents on no news. Matter of fact, they came out with news regarding their split. There's no reverse split. And on that, stock is up 70%. At 67 cents, okay. This one has spike ability. Go ahead and do your research, do your due diligence. Please trade at your own risk. On or about December the 1st, the stock went from 20 cents to approximately 72 cents. Okay, can it make a move like that today? Only time will tell. Let's kick the tires. welcome i'd like to welcome all my new subscribers to the channel i woke up i saw 50 new subscribers i garnered about 50 new subscribers overnight i really appreciate you guys around here we find supernova moves early also follow me on twitter at the petite for stock alerts welcome to the family welcome to another episode of dave's play
before I go into the play, let me delve into yesterday's recap of the market. I right, thank you for watching. Dave Natch, I'm out.